So today on the 46 Dodge, I'm working on this uh, trans cooler mounting. You can see I put a couple quarter inch rods on there and some bolts and I'm just gonna tie it on with zip ties to that. I really don't wanna tie any of this stuff together to each other with zip ties. That's why that trans cooler looks so bad. I'm gonna see if I can uh, comb that out and paint it, but I might end up having to get another one. So I gotta do a little bit of trimming on the top of this, uh, this cover here. Or the, or the, I don't know what you want to call it, fan holder, shroud, whatever you want to call it. Get that to fit a little bit better. And then I'm going to show you what's underneath. As you can see, it's pretty stinking tight in there. I mean, by the time I try to get like some kind of fitting to come out the side, I'm going to have to have hard line on all this stuff because it's barely going to fit out of this, out of the side. It's going to come out over here on this passenger side everything's gonna have to come through that crack right there between the radiator and the uh, core support so once again I took the living room paneling and turned it into a template to cut the holes in my uh, shroud to have the fan connect on so the fan can blow some air through there I tried sawing it and that didn't go so well so get out the plasma cutter so this time I'm um, making a bar that goes down here and over here and uh, gonna cut out this piece right here that way the tubes can come through and come through this area right into here because uh, really having some problems getting the hoses out of the uh, fan shroud so I uh, cut that front end and then I put that piece on there it's a little bit hard to see but it's awfully close to the uh, one piece front end so I got about a little more than a quarter inch in there and I should be okay to adjust the front end and still get the hood to line up. So you can see where I'm going to run the hoses off to the side there on the on the left. So that should uh, that should be pretty easy to get it up and around there. And I don't know if I'm going to cover that up or not. Maybe once, uh, once I'm finished we'll see if I can maybe cover it. So it's sort of looking like that. I have to put the bottom on yet. And like I said, eventually I'll put some flip ducts in there with a solenoid control. And I gotta polish this thing, make it look decent. Would have been nice to have the fans in the back, but then I would have ended up with the motor on top of my feet. And I can barely fit my legs in there as it is, so I'm pretty happy with the way it's turning out. So I'm in the process of trying to line up my front end, and uh, I'm slotting out all these tabs that are sticking off the one piece front end frame and what happened was somebody had the door open on this truck and backed up into something and bent the whole entire cab and I had showed you before that I straightened that out but what happened was I lined my front end up to that crooked cab so now I'm having to fix all these uh, mounting positions in order to make up for the fact that now the cab's straight so now I'm trying to uh, fix this bad spot right here apparently somebody had I guess hit that fender and creased that and so I'm gonna to have to cut this material away right here and down in here and get in there and try to hammer dolly this back so that it's square again so I spent all day Saturday aligning this cab because whenever I put the front end on the uh, door pillar was crooked because somebody had wrecked the truck and you know back the door the, the driver's side door into something while the door was open and it bent the cab and when I aligned the front end I aligned it to the crooked cab so I spent all day trying to slot things and move things and get this gap on the hood to where it's equal and I got it pretty close and it's a little bit bigger towards the front but I'm going to fill that that's going to be one piece the, the whole nose and this hood and I'm just happy that it all ended up finally leveling out and I could slot everything to make everything work and keep the uh, one piece front end frame the same. And with that, I think I'm going to leave this one there. And I'm just going to show you these uh, two birthday presents I got. Had somebody pitch in some money, a couple people actually, for this Vire compressor. And another person gave me a Harbor Freight card for this nice level, which I just used today. So thanks a lot. Appreciate it. And have a good